looking for the hidden gem that will make them a millionaire. After all, don't we often hear that one man's trash is another man's treasure? Sure, we've all heard the stories of fantastically expensive finds people have scooped up for next to nothing on yard sales, but these often seem more like urban legends than fact. There are a few genuinely shocking stories that give hope to every second-hand treasure hunter. The following are 10 examples of people who really took yard sale finds from trash to big cash. Giant 34-kilogram pearl This giant pearl could be the biggest ever found in the world and five times larger than the previous record, after being handed in by a fisherman. The man, who has not been identified, found the priceless 34-kilogram gem 10 years ago in the sea off the coast of Palawan Island, Philippines. He didn't know the potential eye-watering value of $100 million and kept it as a good luck charm in his run-down wooden home. But a fire at the property earlier this year forced him to have a clear-out and move house. The fisherman handed it in to the stunned local tourism officer in remote Puerto Princesca, who verified it had been found in a giant clam. The priceless rock measures a staggering 1 foot wide and 2.2 feet long, dwarfing the current world's biggest pearl of Allah, which weighed 6.4 kilograms and is worth $35 million. Tourism officer Aileen Cynthia Amuro said, The fisherman threw the anchor down and it got stuck on a rock during a storm. He noticed that it was lodged on a shell and swam down to pull up the anchor, and also brought the shell with him. This was a decade ago, and he kept it at home. $1 million lottery ticket After months of spending around $2,000 on scratch-off tickets, the probability of a big win may finally start to swing towards the buyer's favor. Kevin Donovan, a Massachusetts mechanic on disability, frequented the White Hand Pantry grocery and did just that. He tossed what he thought was a batch of losers in the trash outside. And Edward St. John, an 83-year-old man with a habit of collecting thrown-off scratch-offs, collected the discarded scratchers. One of them was a $1 million winner. The news spread through the small Massachusetts town. St. John was known for collecting tickets, never buying them, and Donovan retroactively claimed the winner was his. The lottery commission declared the only requirement to cash in was possession of the winning ticket, so Donovan was out of luck. Two months later, he passed away. $1 $1 million Trace Personalis painting. Rubbish sits on the sidewalk of New York City streets on trash days, waiting to be collected. There are black bags, blue bags, and stacks of boxes. As Elizabeth Gibson walked by a waiting pile on Broadway, she noticed a 38 by 51 inch painting among the bags. The size of the painting, compared to the size of her apartment, didn't deter her, and she took the painting home. Gibson was watching an episode of Antiques Roadshow and heard a description of the painting. The description was that of Tres Personales, painted by Rufino Tomeo, which had been stolen 20 years ago, had a file with the FBI, was valued at $1 million, and had a $15,000 finder's fee attached to it. Gibson returned the painting to the rightful owner and received the $15,000. Who put the painting out for the garbage collectors remains unknown and the doorman at the apartment told Gibson that the garbage had been collected 20 minutes after Gibson had recovered the painting. $22,000 of U.S. savings bonds Mike Rogers, an employee at a Burlington, Kentucky recycling center, was just doing his job in 1971 when he came across some familiar-looking papers at the bottom of a barrel. Two dozen savings bonds purchased by Martha Dobbins had made their way via recycling barrel to Bluegrass Recycling Company. The 12 pieces of paper added up to $22,000. Rather than turn them in for himself, Rogers began to search for the rightful heir. Rogers' search led him to Dobbins' son, Robert Roberts, who tried to compensate Rogers and the Bluegrass Recycling for their honesty. Like any truly honest man, Rogers refused. $16,500 of rare antique Mayan art. Professional movers see a lot of valuable items. When an artist named Clinton Hill and his partner Alan Tran passed away in the Soho district of New York City, Nick DeMola was paid $4,500 to collect what the families didn't want. 
Damola had apparently heard of the overuse saying, one man's trash is another man's treasure. He stored the cardboard barrels and cardboard boxes at a warehouse in Queens for five years, before curiosity took over and he popped the top. Inside were ancient Maya artifacts, dating from 300 BC to 500 AD. The items ranged from stone axes to carved figures. In all, they were valued at around $16,500. Damola stated he wasn't interested in art or ancient artifacts and was looking to sell the pieces. The group who paid for Damola to clean out the apartment was understandably smarting from their oversight, but had legally passed all property ownership to Damola when they paid for Damola to take their $16,500 worth of artifacts to the dump. $100,000 in 5 and $100 bills A tire on the side of a busy highway isn't an unusual sight. A tire on the side of a busy highway with 5 and $100 bills stuffed inside to the tune of $100,000 is both unusual and highly questionable. Also unusual and highly questionable is the decision by the highway workers not to pocket a few dozen of those Benjamins. Or, we suppose that you could call it noble and honest. But come on, how many of us wouldn't snag at least one bill? State highway workers cleaning up litter on Interstate 70 near Indianapolis found the cash-filled tire and reported it to the police. In this case of trash-turned-treasure, foul play was suspected. Which makes sense, considering it's a popular way for drug runners to smuggle large amounts of cash. $50,000 Violin The classical music industry is fraught with high-power names and big money. While Giuseppe Pedrazzini may sound like a name that could be found on the back of a Pinocchio toy, it is actually the name of a famous Italian violin maker whose musical instruments can fetch in the tens of thousands of dollars. A man looking for a violin for his wife found a violin in a garbage dump and took the violin to the Antiques Roadshow to see if it was worth enough to buy another, new violin. He rethought the purchase of a new violin when the Antiques Roadshow told him Petrozzini had made the violin, and it was worth around $50,000. Thank you for watching. Join our channel for more interesting videos.